Why does he bother? Kind of like trimming the grass around the toxic waste dump if you catch my- Ouch! Look what I found outside. Apparently someone else heard their watcher gain three more points in the polls last night. Seems your supporters really stay up to the minute on your progress. We gotta move! Get out! Run! Out of my way! Why you? Hey! I'm stuck! Get your elbow! Ow! We're, We're gonna, gonna die! die! Hey, he disexplodabilized it. Jeez. How did you know? What are you doing? We gotta turn that over to the cops. And if Mayor Sims has something to do with this? We know that the police in the city listen to the mayor. However, if things keep going well, in one week, Walter will be mayor. Now come along. We're running late. I should have stayed out of politics. How's was a guy supposed to stand a grinning reaper in the face and dash off to a big lunch in a second later. Makes you afraid to even guess what happens next. A time bomb? A time bomb? Where do you get your ideas anyway, Wiley Coyote? I don't know who this friend of mine is that sent you to me, but I know about you, Malone. I remember you from the old days. I know what you can do, so get it done! Because if you don't, I swear... I don't like it when people yell. Makes me itchy. Next time we meet, you'll have the money. Wiley Coyote. That's a good one, sir. Damn, you are one big SOB. Hey, don't get your fur up, Chief. It's just me, your buddy, Bruce Corporal. Yeah, so ain't these houses something? Been collecting them for years. They ain't cheap either. I don't mean maybe. Had the streets and yards built myself. Makes it look like a real place. I come in here sometimes, run around, step on a few cars. It's a rush, man. Once or twice I kind of got carried away, but hey, it's my stuff. And the truth of it, big guy, is that it's all my stuff. The whole lousy city and every public servant in it just shows you size ain't everything. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See that bird over there? Big, uh, his name is, uh, Arex? Er, Rekus? Heraclitus. What he said. Anyway. Excuse me, Mr. Corporal, but it looks as if lunch is to be served. Just a second, Anna. Oh, no, not this histrionic show of the power bit again. I said just a second. Yanos, send the bird over. Like I was saying, size ain't everything. Some people gotta be reminded of that now and then. You see, when a man's got brains, guts, and most of all, confidence, he's got total command. Ah! Oh, that fucking bird! Oh, fuck! What the fuck are you staring at, huh? You big fucking asshole! Mr. Corporal, that tone, that language, is wholly inappropriate. Inappropriate? Lady, you're the hired help. I'm paying you to write speeches and manage this campaign, but I ain't paying you to teach me about, uh, about... Etiquette. Exactly! That abusive little tyrant. Don't worry, Walter. He won't get away with that. He forgets I'm his lawyer. I know things. And once you're mayor, we can take care of him. Thanks for coming up here and giving me a chance to say I'm sorry, big fella. I lost it, I know. It's just with that Hamill bitch around, always rolling her eyes, using big words, making me feel so, uh... So... Inadequate. Exactly. Thing is, even though she drives me nuts and is trying to spoil things between you and me, she's very clever. We still need her to win this election, Walter. But after that, after you get the DA off my back, she's friggin' history. You go on. Enjoy lunch. I need some shots or something. We'll talk afterward. Ladies and gentlemen, due to a slight accident, our great benefactor and gracious host, Bruce Corporal, cannot be with us right now, but I'm sure if he could, he'd join me in raising a glass to the man of the hour. Uh, Walter? It certainly is my intention to make an issue of it, Mr. Walter, but, well, I mean, really. That is to say, I understand that perhaps he may wish to shun the limelight. However, might not he have strained you too greatly to at least take note of Councilman Wilson during his toast to you? One cannot underestimate the effect that the councilman's withdrawal from the mayoral race has had on your own bid, which isn't any slight to you or your own inconsiderable qualifications. But politics hinges upon such things. And there are Councilman Wilson's feelings to be thought of. His fragile ego. As you go forth in this world, Mr. Walter, you must tread oh so lightly. Oh gosh, here comes that creepy girl again. That's not very nice. My mother says if you're nice to people, they'll be nice right back. Hello, my name's Jenny. What's yours? Ah! 
So Dan, sorry about those things I said, because I really feel like you and me are sort of two of a kind. Hey, you hear that humming noise? Want to know what it is? Yeah, that's right. I keep my own honeybees. Well, I don't personally care for them, but, you know. Weird how they all pull together to make this stuff, huh? That ain't what I want to talk about, though. See, bees? They're just bugs. Not even real big bugs. Still, nobody fucks with them. Because they're bastards, that's why. But me? I ain't afraid of them. Hell, they're making all that honey for me. It's like they give me this, uh, this... What's that word? Anyway, they all work for me. I'm like the queen. Yeah, I don't mean I'm a queen. What I'm saying is these bees are, uh, the hives. Well, they, uh... Where was I going with this? That should do it. The bees! Watch out for the bees! Everybody inside! But Mr. Corporal, what about Walter? Mr. Corporal, you can't leave him out there. If you don't send somebody to get him, you can expect my resignation. Hamill, this isn't time for your fucking, uh, your... Ultimatums. Exactly! Gasp. I absolutely condemn these attempts on Walter's life. Absolutely. But Mayor Sims went on to say that Walter was a one-issue candidate. Who is pushing the distrust of government hot button again and again? <laughs> what an idiot. can he see how he's alienating his supporters? You're laughing? As deputy mayor, you'll be out of work if Sim loses this election. No job lasts forever, babe. I wish I were relaxed with you, Mr. Wozner. Look! What? What's wrong? It's that huge bird again! That owl! Didn't you see it? Owl? Doesn't anybody else see that thing? You've got quite a nerve showing your face around this office. Don't worry. I'll get him. I've heard that before. Why should I believe you this time? Now, I'm motivated. I thought the large sum I'm paying you was motivation enough, but I suppose you're a man of greater substance than that. Your character is more than just dollar deep, yes? In any event, you've come too early to collect. I wasn't expecting you to more- What's this? Why, that little scum sucker! 